Hi everybody, my name is Jill Vollum and this is my husband Tim and together we are the lucky tenants of Ballymore Farm that you can see up there behind us. So I wanted to chat to you today about eating meat, particularly eating our meat. Um, this is tonight's dinner, this is some of our beef, we're going to have minute steaks tonight. Um, so our beef comes from our own cows, they're born and bred on the hill here in Kerrera. Um, and I just wanted to challenge a couple of things. There's a bit of a misconception out there that eating meat, particularly beef, is really bad for the environment. And I don't think that's right or particularly fair. So I wanted just to take a minute just to show you how we raise our cows, where they live, how we feed them, uh, the type of happy life that they have, and then how far they travel to go to the abattoir. As you can see, Kerrera is a pretty steep and rugged island with very shallow soil, making crop growing unrealistic. So we, like many other hill farms, concentrate our farming efforts on sheep and cattle. We try to farm in a nature-friendly way. I think the posh term for that is in an agroecological way. Basically, we consider the impact our decisions have on the environment as well as our animals and do things such as use our animals to help trample the bracken rather than using pesticides. We plant trees and wildflowers and we choose animals that are able to live out on our boggy steep hillsides without too much fuss. This is our herd of Dexter cows. They live up on this hill year round. We chose Dexters because they're a small, hardy breed who are very light and nimble on their feet. This means they can cope with the rough terrain we have here and manage the harsh weather we get up on the west coast of Scotland. They are small cows, which means they need less food. Most of the year they find enough forage to thrive and then in the winter we help them along with some hay and a little supplementary food. These girls are on a well-earned break at the moment, while they grow next year's calves in their belly. Their calves from the past three years live in a separate part of the farm and hang out like a bunch of naughty teenage boys. We call them the steers and it is from them that we get our beef. So I'm going to take you along and go and introduce you to these naughty boys. These are our steers. We have a mix of age ranges here from 9 up to 32 months. And we let them grow slowly and naturally at their own pace and help them along in the winter time with a bit of hay but mainly they thrive on the forage that they find up on this hill when the time comes we load them into the trailer and we take them to the abattoir which is on our neighboring island mull that we can see in the background there their total travel time is about an hour to an hour and a half and we work hard at making this transition as smooth and as stress-free as possible so when our beef comes back from the abattoir or nicely packaged like so uh, we sell it locally and we sell to we sell a lot through an online farmers market called the Great British Food Hub and we also sell it in our little farm shop which is that little blue shed at the top of the hill which we're really proud of. Eating meat doesn't have to be bad for the environment. There will be a farmer like me near you proudly selling their meat. Please go find them and please go support them. We need you. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.